Welcome back, conference. Thank you for participating actively in the breakout sessions. With a limited time in the plenary, I would like to encourage you all to use the Q&A section, network session, and the sessions outside the plenary to discover more and continue discussing the resolution and constitutional amendments. I, also, I would also like to encourage you to use the meeting hub to reach out to other delegations. I'd like to remind you at the deadline to submit your amendments for the draft resolution and the World Triennial Plan is at 11.59 GMT, 11.59 PM GMT on the 26th of August, 2021. We are soon closing the plenary session, the first historic day of this World Scout Conference. There are many opportunities for you to continue in workshops, network sessions, and by visiting exhibitions. You may find more information in the conference agenda. Everything that is taking place outside of the plenary is repeated twice to make it possible as for as many as possible to join the session. For some of you, the day is still young and you will continue with some more hours. For others, the conference continues with similar opportunities tomorrow morning. As organizers of this event, we are always looking for ways to improve your experience for the days to come and future events. Your feedback is needed, particularly for the first fully virtual scouting event, where we expect to learn from the good practices being applied and how to make it better. There are four ways to share your thoughts with us, so please get involved as much as you can. Firstly, you can read the plenary session and the workshops at the end of the session. Secondly, you can take a short daily questionnaire which will be sent to you along with daily highlights of email. Thirdly, you may volunteer to participate in one of the focus group discussions to tell us about your experience and suggest ways of improvement. Lastly, you will be invited to participate in an evaluation survey at the end of the event. We have an important message to share with you. Can you guess who our guest is? Well, it's no other than the Chief Ambassador of Scouting, Bear Grylls. Hi everyone, Bear Grylls, Chief Ambassador of World Scouting here. Uh, the past year and a half has been so difficult on all of us, but I'm so proud of the Scout Movement for leading the way. Uh, for serving our communities and for growing stronger together. I'm so proud to see scouting grow in new countries uh, like Afghanistan, like Vietnam and the Solomon Islands and how it's growing even larger in places like North Macedonia, uh, in New Zealand and in Côte d'Ivoire. Scouting had such a huge positive impact on me when I was young. Uh, it taught me to love the outdoors, uh, to serve my country and my community and set me on a path to where I am today. And it's on all of us to make sure that more young people can have positive experiences like you and I had, especially in communities where young people have fewer opportunities than we did. The pandemic has also revealed our vulnerabilities and it's worsened inequalities. And that's why my ask to you is to do everything you can to actively reach out to minorities and to vulnerable groups, to refugees and migrants, to young people with different abilities, and to try and give them the opportunity to experience the magic of scouting. Because it's our responsibility as scouts to help our communities to stick together, to look after ourselves and our neighbours. And this virtual World Scout Conference demonstrates the flexibility and the adaptability of the movement. And I hope you're all able to use this time uh, to learn from each other, to generate new ideas to bring back home, and above all, enjoy the diversity and the unity of our amazing global scouting family. Thank you, Bear, for your greeting. We also have a message of recognition from the United Nations Secretary General, 
Antonio Guterres. Do you now, would you please read it for us? Sure, Param. Congratulations on convening the largest ever assembly of world scouting. The United Nations is grateful for your contributions, especially your commitment to helping achieve the sustainable development goals. The COVID-19 pandemic pulled back the curtain on inequality in education while revealing the great value of the kind of non-formal learning opportunities provided by the Scouts. Your focus on equipping young people with life skills will only gain in importance as we navigate the challenges ahead. World Scouting benefits youth and their communities while engendering solidarity across generations and borders. In this endeavor, I wish you continued great success. We'd like to take this moment to say thank you to the Secretary General of the United Nations for those encouraging words. We have reached the end of the first day of the World Scout Conference. I'm adjourning the meeting until 12 p.m. GMT tomorrow. If you have any questions about how the conference platform or the voting system works, you can reach out for support and ask questions to add the help desk by using the blue button on the bottom right corner. Explore and enjoy the remaining sessions later today and tomorrow, and let's continue making history in our first ever virtual conference. Thank you.